Okay, this is how I interpreted the stripes on mine. Um, this We're past the most difficult parts of this drawing, and now it's all downhill from here. We're going to put in the eyes, or the eye, and, um, and the, this gill line is very, very simple. So, once again, come over to your layers palette. Let's lock down that stripes layer, add a new layer, and just call it eye. And this is super simple. Um, let me zoom in to where the eye is. All you got to do is come over to uh, the ellipse tool that we used before. This time, so here's the, you see the crosshairs? I don't know if you can see it on the screen. There's the crosshairs for the ellipse tool. Have the photo reference visible. Uh, put the crosshairs in the center of this guy's eye and hold down shift. And then also hold down the option or on the PC hold down alt. So shift option or shift alt. Click, hold, and drag. And by holding down option or alt, it keeps it in the, the, the circle will grow from the center. Holding down shift means it makes a perfect circle. So just get a kind of sorta where you want it. And uh, I have my colors are on a black fill. I didn't necessarily mean to do that, but um, that's fortunate. So like if you uh, made a, a line like this, just a black stroke, that's fine. Just select it, come over here, and swap so you have a black fill and no stroke on it. We might, it might look kind of cool with a white stroke. Let's see how it works. Anyway, so what we want to do is put like um, another circle inside this, and we can draw another circle, or we can just do this. We can have this selected. Command or Control C, C is in cat to copy. Now um, you want to paste in place. So let's look at let's go up to edit here. Click edit. Uh, where is it? Paste special. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. Paste in place. All right. So um, you can also hold Shift. Command or Control V, but I just wanted to show you that. Edit, paste in place. Okay, so now I have a black circle on top of a black circle. Let's make this guy white. Okay, so come over here. Um, just choose the default fill and stroke and make it white. So now it has a black stroke on it. I'm gonna get rid of the, the stroke. Okay, so this is, remember, it's a white circle on top of a black one. Hover over, with a selection tool, hover over the corner, hold down Shift, hold down Option or Alt. And again, Option or Alt, you know, keeps the thing centered. So you can bring that in. And that's your um, eyeball. And I think this black one would look cool with a white stroke on it. So let's do that. And we might depending on how it looks I might put another black one in here so let's just let's just play around with this first of all click on your black outer circle come over here just hit the default fill and stroke now hit the swap key the swap fill and stroke so what happened was now we have a white stroke a black fill and I think it would look cooler with a, like a little black pupil in there. So once again, select the inner white circle. Same thing, shift, or pardon me, command or control C, as in cat. Let's paste in place. So that would be command or control shift V. Command shift V to paste in place or control shift V to paste in place on a PC. Let's make this black. So let's go over here again, hit the default stroke and fill. Hit the swap. Let's get rid of the white uh, stroke on this one because we don't need it. Okay, so now we got this black circle on top of a white one, remember? Hold down, hover over the, with the, the selection tool, hover over the corner, hold down shift, hold down option or alt and there you have it so you have like this target bullseye 
kind of thing going on. Uh, this white stroke on the outside might be overkill now that I look at it. Um, I might get rid of that. In fact, I'm deciding to get rid of it now because when we add color, it might look kind of weird. We can always put it back. So I'm going to select this outside. Circle again. I'm going to come over here. Black stroke. White fill. I'm going to hit the slash. Get rid of the stroke. I think that'll look better. That'll look cool how it blends into the... I think. You know, I might come back and change it again. Who knows? All right. Um, you know what? Another thing I could do... Well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. So... Last thing is there's this line, every fish has a gill here, so let's stick a gill in there. So P for pen tool, click, hold, and drag. It's hard to see because it's yellow. Okay, that's uh, over here. I've my The reason why it looks weird, because I got a black fill and no strokes that come over here. Now it's a black stroke, no fill. I'm going to deselect it. So I got that plain old ordinary line. It would be much more interesting if there was a calligraphic stroke to it. So I select it, just like we did before. Window, brush libraries, artistic, artistic calligraphic, and you can choose any one that works. Let's try this five point flat to see what that looks like. That looks kind of nice. What 10 point flat look like? A little thick. Um, I like how that stroke goes, so I'm going to choose 10 point flat, uh, flat, B for brush tool, it's still selected, use the bracket key just like we did before to decrease the size of it a little bit. So let's back up here, and so far this is what we have.